I recently was on the David Shands podcast, Sleep is for Suckers. It's a dope podcast. You should check it out sometime. But one of the guests on the podcast said they never use debt to acquire real estate. That's cool if you got lots of money to start and lots of time to build wealth. There are lots of strategies to build wealth in real estate, even if you agree with Dave Ramsey, who believes that all debt is bad debt. If you do it that way, you can still build wealth in real estate. It's just going to take a longer time. And that's okay for some people, but I like to increase the velocity of my wealth building. And that's just what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to show you the three best ways the rich use debt to increase the velocity of their wealth building. So let's go. I'm A. Donahue Baker, real estate developer, owner of hundreds of units and helper to those that want to build generational wealth through real estate development and apartment complexes. Why? Because what good is it to build wealth if you're not helping other people build wealth? And my mission is just that. So if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to have something special for you, but just for watching and learning. So number one, let's jump right in. The three best ways the rich use debt to increase their wealth starts with the most popular way. Number one, and you probably guessed it, it's using a mortgage to purchase the home that they live in. Yes, by getting a mortgage, it's a way millions of rich people have become rich. Thomas Stanley and William Danko in their book, Millionaire Next Door, proved with years of research that most millionaires are created by just buying homes in great neighborhoods and paying them off over time. Many of you are living next door to millionaires and don't even know it. Building wealth by purchasing a home with a mortgage is one of the easiest ways to start on the wealth building journey. It is the leading cause of the wealth gap because most minorities don't own homes. But yes, a mortgage is debt and it's good debt. It's debt that allows you to acquire an asset that pays you to own it, sometimes for as little as 0% down. With inflation is what it is, it sounds like a good trade-off to me. This is absolutely the easiest and simplest way to build wealth. Number two, if you've been following me for some time, you know that I'm a huge advocate for home ownership. But I've always said, before you buy the dream home, purchase the investment property because your home is technically not an asset. It's a liability. Remember, assets over liabilities. Shout out to EYL. That is the number two way the rich use debt to increase wealth. Using debt to acquire income producing properties like apartment complexes or other income producing assets. And it's my favorite way to build wealth. The thing about apartment buildings is they cost way more than single family homes. So majority of investors need debt to acquire apartment buildings. The typical way investors do this is getting a bank loan for 70 to 80% of the acquisition costs and then bringing their own cash for the remainder of the acquisition price. I love this way because it's like buying freedom. I buy apartment complexes or build them from ground up and then have leasing offices that pay me passively every month to own them. I use the debt to increase my income. That income pays the debt and provides for my family. That's how I was able to leave corporate America behind and retire from my job. Investment properties pay you to own them. I've purchased at least one apartment building every year for the last 12 years and I've always made more money and more income each and every year than I did the previous year. So using debt to acquire real estate is how the rich get richer. You better ask somebody. Number three, the third and final way the rich use debt to build wealth is to acquire loans that allow them to open businesses or even start businesses. This is how so many businesses have gotten started. Many of the businesses you've personally helped along the way, many of the billion dollar businesses like Amazon, Facebook, eBay, they've started by debt from private lenders or sometimes family and friends. But if you're not tapped into those circles and you can't get loans through programs like the SBA 7A micro loan, these programs sometimes have grants for entrepreneurs in low income communities. Using debt to start a business is how businesses that create jobs and wealth are created in our community. 
So it's important that you understand the language of money. It's important that you understand all debt is not bad debt. Learn the difference between debt that pays you and debt that leaves you poor. It's important that you understand that all debt is not bad debt. You must know the difference between debt that pays you and debt that leaves you poor. As promised, thanks for sticking to the end of the video. I told you I'm gonna have something very special for you. Something that I know would add value to your financial world. Click the link in the show notes and you'll get a free copy of my new ebook, 99 Ways to Build Generational Wealth. And it's just that. 99 ways that you can personally build generational wealth. Click the link. Do you agree with how the wealthy use debt to build wealth? Or do you believe that all debt is bad? Leave your comments in the comment section below and let's resolve this issue once and for all and then get back to the real wealth building people. Time is the most valuable asset you have. Don't waste your time. Remember, what you do every day becomes your legacy. I'm A. Donahue Baker and I'm out.